Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it up on my computer here so that I can see what is going on. Oh, there we go. Right, let's turn that up. Got the comments on. Good morning. Oh, hello. I was going to say good morning, but it's not. Oh, God, I can hear myself. Hang on. All right. So welcome, welcome. Um, over the last couple of days, I've had a few people message me asking about uh, how to cut, and, and someone commented in the group as well, and I apologise because I forgot to write down who it was. Ooh, but that's okay. Um, so the red rubber stamps, hello Michelle, the red rubber stamps that I design, and I absolutely love, can be a little bit daunting when you first purchase them. And yes, this is something I should have done 12 months ago, but here we go, we're doing it now. Um, so the, the stamps are a solid piece of red rubber. There's a couple of reasons behind this. Um, number one, I don't get them produced out of China at a low cost. These are made here in Adelaide which means that they have an excellent quality to them and that they are a nice red rubber um, produced, manufactured and designed in Australia and Adelaide, which is wonderful. Anyway, so I thought I would show you how I, I cut them up. And I'm just trying to find... There's that one. And let me just run and grab my other tray of stamps that I didn't grab. Sorry, my bad. I should have done that before I um, got it out. But what the way that I... The way that I do, I cut my stamps is I cut them very, very close. And a bit of a tip before I start, I peel back this piece of paper. I take that off. Um, that'll make it much, much easier for you to cut. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer. This is how I cut stamps. This is not how anybody has taught me. This is not, there's no right and wrong way to do it. Um, I, any opinions that are put up on this Facebook group are simply the opinion of another person. Um, and I'm saying that because numerous reasons, we are women, so that makes us all experts, like seriously. Um, but I just want to show you what works for me. All right. Super important to get that across. Uh, the scissors that I use, I use the Tim Holtz scissors. I think that these are the best thing for cutting red rubber stamps. So what I do, so this is the um, blah, blah, blah stamp, and I'm going to cut it super close. As you can see, it goes about there. Um, so what I do to start with is I just get my scissors and separate the stamps on the on the red rubber just like that so this particular stamp set has got one two three four five individual stamps and um, let's just say for example there are some more in production you'll need to do exactly the same thing um, so the reason why you need to cut them nice and close is so that you don't get any over stamping. So over stamping, of course, is when you put, if I put that on my block and ink that up, this bit here will more likely get some ink on it because we tend to go super juicy with our ink. And then when I stamp, I will get that bit on it as well. So what I like to do is I will go in uh, really close. Actually, I'll do it on this one here. 
I will go in really very close. So I follow the line and I use little, little, little snips. And I'm cutting pretty much straight. I'm not cutting on an angle. I'm cutting nice straight lines. So I'm not going like that. I'm not going like that. I'm just going straight lines. Cut that bit off, don't want that. And then what's happening is that I am allowing myself, I can then go in here with little snips. And I'm not gonna to go too close to it because I can see the ridges in here. So I know that it'll be fine. Then I just cut off any little bits like that. Right, so I'm gonna come up in here. And it's a, it's something that you just need to take a little moment with. Not rush through it, there's no hot race. Okay, I'm coming up here, nice and close to that end. Like that. And then what I wanna do is I just wanna come in a little bit here, just so that when I stamp and put ink on it, I don't get ink in this bit. I don't wanna go all the way in, but I'm just gonna snip. Haven't, see, you can still see it's still connected. So I can just quickly get in there with my stamps. So the reason I like the Tim Holtz scissors is as you can see, I'm using like this bit of the scissor and I'll come in and do just a little in here. So there are a few companies in Australia that produce stamps like this. Darkroom Door is one of them. Um, they are, hello Tina, hello Leslie. They are another great Australian company and they also produce red rubber stamps like this. And when you purchase a Darkroom Door stamp, you'll find them like this. You'll also find if you are a uh, Kazaz, you purchase Kazaz stamps, they also come like this. Um, and there's also another brand that I can't remember who does them here in Australia um, that does red rubber stamps like this. So I just very carefully go in and just use the tip of my scissors and cut off all of these little bits. There's a couple of other brands out of the States, um, Viva Las Vegas Stamps, they do them like this. In fact, they do them without this bit on it. They just do it as a, um, like a, a cling stamp or without the cling, sorry, just a red rubber. All right. So this is what works for me. This is how I use my stamps. I will then go and tidy it up. So I'm just coming in nice and close to the edges. Little, little tiny cuts. And it's much, much easier if you do it with taking off the backing sheet. That just landed in my water container. All right. So much, much easier if you take off that backing paper. Right. So while I'm doing this, has anybody got any questions? Because this is a little time consuming and I am going to soldier on and do it. If you don't have Tim Holtz scissors, you need to find some other scissors that are strong and that you are confident with. Straight up, that's all um, I recommend. So please just do, like I said, this is, this is the way that I do it. Please make sure that with my stamps, um, that you have a go at doing it this way. So what I'm gonna do 
Deb, we're not talking about Tim Holtz's bloody new colour woman. But no, I don't know. Um, okay, so, so for example, this little bit here, what I will do is get my scissors on a little angle and cut off that, that pointy bit just so that it, it doesn't pick up any ink. So I just make my corners now a little bit rounder. I leave the backing strip alone, really important. I'm not gonna to touch the cling backing bit at all. I'm just gonna go around and lightly trim any bits that I think might pick up ink when I stamp it. All right. So now I'm gonna do this corner. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Rosie. Welcome. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm not damaging the stamped image at all. I'm just giving it a light trim over these bits to take away any sharp edges. All right. So super nice and tight. Um, so exactly the same thing if I do one of these little words. So this little word here says not today. Stuck on my fingers. And what I want to do is go in tight. And the reason why I want to go in tight is because I don't want it to pick up any additional ink when I put it on my stamp block. All right. That's the main reason. So now I go and I just round my corners like so, like so, and I'm happy with that one. This one's a super easy one. It's just a straight line. Yeah, Michelle's just commented saying the scissors are quite a necessity. Let me grab another pair of scissors and see if I can show you how to do it with, let's say, a different pair of scissors. Hang on. Hold that thought. Um, here's the first problem is I, um, I don't have any other scissors really than Tim Holtz. There's a couple of these ones here. Let me try with these. Yeah. Sorry, Linda, about the time thing. You can go back and watch it, babe. So I find that these just don't have the strength. These are fussy cutting scissors. Okay. They're not doing anything, right? Not great. Um, no, that no, I disagree completely, Michelle. Um, a tiny pointy ones that will be helpful. No, not at all. Look at these. Tiny, tiny pointy ones, not helpful. I can't even get that to cut. Not at all. Um, these ones here, oh, I don't even know what these, what brand these are. These might not be too bad. Nope. Let's go in here with the with the edge. Oh, they're not, they're okay. Tiny, tiny, tiny little cuts. Um, so that's why the Tim Holtz scissors are perfect. Now, this one's super easy, straight line. Um, if you do purchase uh, some stamps from me and you don't have Tim Holtz ones, then you can ask me in the notes section to pre-cut them for you. But this is not a service that I um, have a ton of time to do. So please don't everyone say, Natalie, can you please, 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 please blah, 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 pre-cut them for me? Because 
you know, it's not difficult, people. It is not difficult at all. Right, so now I go back in on an angle. Let me bring that up to camera and just trim off that corner. You shouldn't have to buy special scissors. Um, what do you mean, Sandra? Oh my God, Natalie, that is too much. I don't understand. Too much work to cut them. All right, no, you can't, Linda. Suck it up, babe. You've got Tim Holtz scissors. I know you have because I've sold them to you. Um, all right, so you get the whole gist of it there. It's about going in tight. So let me pull out some of my other ones to show you. This one, um, you can see where I've gone in tight. Yeah, <laughs> yes, okay, good point. So with um, with this one here, you can see what happens if you over stamp, you get these, these ink marks on here which transfers to your paper, so you want to avoid that. Um, this one here, I went in tight in here and then I started cutting into here and then got sidetracked. Um, but that's super easy to do as well. It makes the difference to cut out the red rubber where you can. All right? So it makes a big, big, big difference. This one here, I've gone in around those edges. Um, this one here, you can see how tight I've gone in on that one. Same here, gone super tight in there and it makes all the difference. So trying to avoid that. I did leave that bit in there just so that it has that little bit of stability and that it stays straight. Um, but yeah, it does work really, really well. So when it comes to doing words, for example, I keep the line across there as straight as I can and then loop up around there. Cutting it straight makes a huge difference and making sure that you pull off the backing sheet um, makes a huge difference as well. Uh, so when it comes to doing these little ones, just keeping it nice and straight makes all of the difference. All right. So for those of you just jo jo uh, joining in, I have just been talking about how I cut out my red rubber stamps and this is super important because these are the ones that I have designed these are the ones that work for me and I go in as close as I possibly can and I've just done that one for you and you'll be able to go back and watch it um, but yeah you'll be able to you know you do need to go in super close don't just cut out a square because the difference is that you end up with all of this bit here with ink on it as well. And it doesn't look great when you try and stamp it on your project. Okay, so make sure that you go in nice and tight, just like this. Good pair of scissors. You could probably use some kitchen scissors and give them a clean after, but going in like this will work really, really well in a nice, straight, firm cut. Do I have Tim Holtz scissors? Haha, <laughs> I knew someone would ask me that question. Um, I do believe there's a couple still on the shelf. Have a look in the tools section. Um, they are currently on back order. I have tried to order in more, but they are currently on back order. But what you can do, if I don't have them online, send me a, an email. And I do have some scissors here that might be able to, uh, that I can, I could probably help you out. But I, if I don't have them, being, uh, I can um, put them on order for you. But yeah, the, the Tim Holtz scissors, everything Tim Holtz, I think must be made in China. So therefore, everything coming out of China 
has massive delays and production delays at the moment, as most of you know. So me trying to get hold of anything. Ranger is nothing more than a, a, a nightmare. So now Carrie Ann's just commented saying, um, the scissors clean up with eucalyptus oil or goo remover. Yeah, because they can get a bit sticky from this. So that is what I will do before I um, cut them with paper or cut paper with them, I should say, um, is that yes, you do need to clean them because they might get a little tacky. So there you go. Now somebody asked me the other day, why don't you, why don't you have your stamps that are already cut out ready to go? Why? Because they would cost me an additional $15 per stamp. Okay, and I don't want to have to pass that cost on to you. All right, so um, for this little thing that everybody is very capable of doing at home, that is the plan. Come on. And again, go in here. And then it's just a case now of going around and tidying up any pointy bits like here. That's a little pointy bit that I want to tidy up. Um, and I just want to Cut that off so it's not going to pick up any extra ink when I add it to an ink pad. So, um, yeah, that's the main reason I don't sell them. You know, I sell them on a, on a sheet like this because it, I can pass those savings on to you. Um, so with this one here, I will go in and cut in around here, in around here, in around here and around there so that I don't get any extra little bits and pieces. Alrighty. So thank you very much, ladies, for joining in. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope that you are able to confidently cut your stamps now. Um, I am more than happy to answer any questions. And just make sure that you don't throw any out accidentally. Um, when you clean up your rubber pieces because that's a thing um, but yes please don't hesitate if you have any questions I'm more than happy to help you out but the reason like I said the reason that we do it like this is going in close gives you no over stamped edges all right so this is what works for me this is not gospel this is not the way of the crafting lords this is the Natalie way. Um, so please don't take on everybody's opinions as being gospel. Find out what works for you. If you want to leave it as one big piece, um, then, then you can. That's completely up to you. Uh, Tony has just asked the questions. Are you planning more stamps for your range? I am indeed, Tony. I may or may not have some in production at the moment and have some more that I am working on and possibly some more stencils. Happy days. All right, ladies, I need to go and get ready for my three o'clock live Facebook with the Art Journal Basics class. So um, just to give you a bit of an update, if you wanted to join in on that class, you still can because it is still at the bargain price of 58 bucks. Here's my selling bullshit for today. Um, and sorry, selling, selling, that's not the right word. Um, so, and today we are going through how to construct an art journal page and, and making something. So um, that'll be super fun fun we've already covered all the things you need and all the things you don't how to use the things all the different mediums that you use all the differences between mediums we had a little bit of a play with my favorite tool ever being the color wheel and the girls all had homework so it was so much fun you can still jump online and do that so i will be live online at uh, in half an hour for that class class number three in that class all right girls i will chat to you really really soon i hope you are all doing fantastic and that you are having a fabulous day bye